Well, how do there? Chums, tis I, Captain of the Steve's. And today, Chums, for you guys, in the view of us, it's a cup of tea with Captain Steve, and I've got a bit of a theory, a bit of a working theory. What should I say? A waking theory. Yes, because, yeah, I'm going to be talking about waking Titan and the old ARG. Let me just have a little sip of my tea. So if you don't know what Waking Titan was, on the lead up to Next, and during a lot of the updates that No Man's Sky got in the early days, there was an ARG, like a real weldy type game that the players actually took part in to actually unravel some secrets of things that were going to be coming up into game. It's like they managed to decipher what the player models looked like before the player models appeared in Next. It was quite an entertaining period of time inside the No Man's Sky verse. Now, I'm not going to lie, I was built up on the hype of No Man's Sky, and I thoroughly vested in the uh, initial release of No Man's Sky. I played it to death when it first dropped. But then, because I wasn't seeing the things that I saw in the EFI trailers, and also the silence that was coming from Hello Games was deafening, I sort of dipped out of the old No Man's Sky, jumped over to Destiny, played Destiny and Destiny 2, and then when... No Man's Sky Next was about to release, I jumped back into No Man's Sky with both feet. Heck yes, I did. But no, I pre-ordered No Man's Sky. I had the pre-orders bonus ship and all that sort of shenanigans. I was thoroughly vested in it from the start. However, I did drift to Destiny when, um, you know, after I played it for probably about 40 odd hours or so on the initial launch and managed to jump universes. As soon as I jumped universes, realized what the game was all about and the gameplay loop, I jumped over to Destiny for a bit. I did pop back into No Man's Sky every time there was quite a large update, like, you know, Pathfinders and so on and so forth. But no, I was more vested in Destiny until next. And then it hooked me back in. Anyway, that's a little history of me and a little bit of the ARG. But the ARG was happening the whole time that I was playing Destiny. And I was watching channels like Cobra TV, and uh, L plays. I've got some clips that I'm going to show you in a bit. But the, first, my theory, people. First, my theory. So let's jump on over into PlayStation 5 game. And um, I'll, I'll go through my theory. I don't really know the best way to sort of bring this over to you people. However, we put Artemis inside of this contraption at the back of the old Nexus. Now, when you first get your first communique with Artemis, you get the whole 16, 16, 16 sort of stuff going on. Now, inside of the ARG, there was a loop 16, and it was linked to a character called Emily that, I believe, perished during the actual ARG. Uh, you correct me if I'm wrong, people in the view of us, but here we go. I'm going to jump on over to a reaction camera, over onto my old PC, boom, and hopefully I'm on the screen. There I am. So if I make this a little bit larger and hit play on this, so that you can see here, Loop 16, Waking Titan, and Emily. And here you go. You get all this static, you know? And uh, the whole Loop 16 was linked to Emily, and Emily well, it either went missing or perished or got stuck inside of the simulation. One of those three things happened to her. And yet there was quite a few other characters that went missing. There was another one called Elizabeth that perished, and then there was 12 Dreamers that got stuck inside of the simulation after putting on these wear-type headsets inside of the verse. And it was up to the players to try and decipher what was going on. So if I jump on over to here, let me just close that one just in case a video starts playing in the background or something crazy. But you can see here, this was the interface. Now this is on Cobra TV, and you can see that there's 12 dreamers down this right hand side of the actual screen that I'm sort of slightly covering. Let me um, get myself off the screen a bit there, people. So yeah, all of these are dreamers. They're people plugged into a VR reality sort of thing. And I'll hit play. You can see it's all lovely animated and stuff. They put a lot of work into this actual site. And you know, you've got some of these numbers here that actually tallied up to things inside of the No Man's Sky verse. It was really quite cool, this ARG. You can see just how many tabs freaking Cobra has got open. It's done a lot of research into all of this ARG. It was a big part of the ARG was Cobra TV. Um, I watched Carl Culver's playlist on the ARG, which I found very insightful. If you want to get yourself up to speed on the ARG and what took place, check out Carl Culver's um, playlist. I'll put a link up there to it. It's really freaking awesome. It really is. Anyways, so that's kind of enough on the old ARG. So there was 12 Dreamers, Elizabeth, and also um, Emily that went missing. Look, you can actually interact with each of them. And it actually shows a player model here before player models came into game, which is pretty darn freaking cool. So anyhow, um, I'll jump back on over to me and we'll carry on talking for a bit. Actually, no, we'll go back into game. Boom, back into the old game. 
Okay, so we put Artemis inside of this. Artemis, like I said, introduced themselves with 16, 16, 16, Kazert and all that sort of stuff, which ties, I feel, into Emily. So I'm wondering whether Emily was Artemis. Now, if my theory is correct, maybe the other NPCs that we're seeing up inside of the station are also from the actual ARG. Well, I say Station Nexus. So you've got Mercury here now. Now, the Institute that was actually looking into all of this, it had the Mercury subroutine that it used to pop up with all the frickin' time. So I'm wondering whether Mercury might be a nod to that. So, yeah, there we go. So there's another one, Mercury, and could be one of the dreamers. So we've got, what, Artemis, we got uh, Mercury. Okay, so that's two. Let's just go for a little bit of a count. Let's go this way. Okay, so over here we've got Tephus over here. So that's three Tephus. Three. And then we jump off this balcony. Head on over here. And we're going to be going up to this chappy here, which is Ariadne. Four. I'm wondering whether Ariadne might be the equivalent of Elizabeth or something. Okay, let's head on up here. That's four. Four, four, four. Over this way. Bum, 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 bum. Hyperion, that's five. Hyperion, I think, was one of the actual passwords inside of the ARG. Appears in episode one of Cole Culver's um, playlist, anyway. So that's five. We've got Celine, that's six. Hello there, Celine. Hey, don't lick me. Go. Cool. let's head on over here. That's six. We've got Eos, which is seven. We've got Persis, which is eight. That's eight. So we've got eight. Over this way, head on down here. Well, that's eight. Come over here. We've got Kronos, nine. Ares, ten. Helios, eleven. Gemini, twelve. And Hesperus, thirteen. So that's thirteen. And that's including Artemis. So Artemis, I think, is Emily. And then all of these could be the Dreamers. So that's your other load done, isn't it, really? But then I'm also thinking, what about Null? Null and also Apollo. And then you've got um, mentions inside of the Weekend Mission lore of Hildebrand and a few others. But, you know, let's just keep on the ones that we can physically see. Because they're the ones that we probably physically know about from the ARG. It just seems a little bit odd to me that we've got the 12 Dreamers, we've got the 12 NPCs, we've also got Artemis, and we've also got the, um, you know, the whole Ariadne type thing going on, you know? Um, so, yeah... Let me know what you think inside of the Viewerverse, people. Anyway, let's, uh, let's uh, just uh, exit out of the old game. Let's close the game down. Let's turn that off. Chicka boom And I'll, I'll jump back over to me in the old studio. So, people, it's a bit of a wild bit of speculation there. Now, like I say, I wasn't overly vested inside of the ARG. And I know that there's been other mentions of other characters like Astera. Astera, you know, because she was quite a legendary character inside of that weekend mission lore. But, you know, we haven't seen a physical representation of Astera. But it makes me think maybe that Astera... Uh, might be the equivalent of Elizabeth. I don't know. I don't know whether Elizabeth actually died or perished or got stuck in the simulation. I think we can only really go by those that either went missing or got stuck in the simulation through the wear headsets. And we know of the 12 Dreamers. We also know that Emily... Well, you can see all that corruption sort of stuff there, and it looked like she was stuck in some kind of simulation, let's face it. So... Yeah, that's where I'm going with this, people. But, you know, I wasn't a massive, great, big participant inside the ARG. I was an external watcher. I was watching L Plays. I was watching Cobra TV. I also watched a bit of the MZK's overview videos, to be honest, back in the day. Um, he used to go by a completely different name back then. I can't even remember what his name is. Now, now goes as Sir Donneth. I don't know what he was back. I think it was Skin Boot or something like that. Skin Boot. Anyway, people, inside the view of us, I'm going to carry on drinking my tea. But yeah, the ARG has got me wondering whether more of the ARG or some of the lore inside of the ARG might start reappearing inside of the No Man's Sky universe. And I still think that we get little subtle nods every now and again of the ARG happening inside of the actual game. But there we go, people, inside the viewer verse. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a little bit of food for thought. I hope you're wetting your whistle with a cup of tea or a coffee or whatever your hot beverage of choice is. It's a cracking cuppa, that. Cracking cuppa. Anyway, people, I'm going to end off. Yeah, 
goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.